I just need to do a quick little look around here and see if there's... Oh, shrine nearby! Yes. Also, this is cold too. Man. Didn't expect that one. There we go. Oh, this is uh, secretly the, the greatest treasure of the Yiga clan right here. It is... Arrows. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, which way... Okay, so it seems like it's like this direction. How far does this uh, cavern go? <laughs> and like, is this even really worth checking out? Because, like, it might keep going up here and then I, uh, at the very end, find a shrine. I think I'll uh, I'll go a little bit further. There's no real reason to fight these guys. If I find a shrine there, ow! Okay, well, I could pick up that boulder. Cause if if the Lazalfos dare to try to chase me down here, they gotta deal with snowballs, and that's uh, terrifying to the lizards. Cause you know they're cold-blooded and cold-hearted. More importantly. Oh, see, look at this. He's gonna just, uh... Go lick a moose. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll! Yeah, I could've used that a while ago. Oh, well. Can I ride a moose? I don't remember. I think I tried this before. Wait! Oh, no! Oh! Interesting. I just want the meat! Yes! Okay. But that's gonna give me a lot of money later on, but I I just gotta keep running. Cause I, I wanna see where this shrine is. It's like right around here. I'm pretty sure if I just keep running slightly further, it's like at the very top. Here it is. Or maybe not? I've never expected this. But I don't know what I really expected around this area. If only I had one of my, uh, secret seals right now. Um... Uh, looks a little bit dangerous around here. Oh, maybe that's it. Oh. Just running right through the middle of their camp. Oh, actually, I might just steal all of their wood. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. I don't know necessarily what's going on there, but worth it. Oh no, uh, this might be a bit of a conundrum. Ow. Okay, I might actually use some uh, food now. Uh, see, look at that. I have three fairies. Three whole fairies. And those those people just decided that actually I'm gonna take this entire thing. That I had to, like, die for it. It was awful. Yeah, like... I don't know if it's worth it to necessarily uh, look for a shrine in this area now. <laughs> Need those. I'm gonna try a fire arrow and see what happens. Because this does... Yeah, here we go. I just need more fire. Cause this, this should be it. And also, do I have a flame sword? Actually, I do have a flame spear, so... This might work. Okay, maybe not completely. Come on! I'll only have to do this once. Oh... I might have... Barely run out of, of fireness. That's a th oh, speaking of fi- I have, I have a better idea. <laughs> Actually, I have like the best idea. Why don't I just do this? Instead of uh, using my flame weapons, I got, uh... Yeah, it's in key items. <laughs> it probably should be. I'm gonna throw down uh, five bundles of wood here. And I'm gonna throw down... <laughs> Uh, like five flint, I think, and just see what happens. 
uh, if I can find where my flint is necessarily, because there's just too many items in this game. Too many very, very important items that I uh, appreciate, but at the same time, like, this, this is just absolute madness. Oh, there it is. I have 50-something uh, flint. I think it was 52. Here we go, and then uh, we... Uh... There we go. All of these campfires should be enough. <laughs> Still, they give you all the stuff that you need uh, around here, so... It makes sense. It works. Okay. And now you just have a very beautiful fire right outside. Wah! Oh. Aw. I was really hoping to get one of those guys out of midair. Those whiz robes think they're all hot stuff, but I mean... I got a lot of fires. Melting ice hazard. Kataka shrine. Offer me before a, a offer before me a block of ice. Then uh, the path will f be forward. Okay. I can uh, probably do this. How big does the block of ice need to be? Is that a, a big problem, potentially? Because, like, can it just be an ice cube that you put in your uh, glass of water kind of thing? Also, uh, other ideas. Okay, that hurts. <laughs> oh, I have, I have a, uh, an idea in a way. If I Cryonis... I think you can only do Cryonis on water itself, which kind of sucks. Yeah, but like, how do you get rid of all of these things? Like, I can't get through them, so... There's that. But I'm just going to do the quick run through this area on my own without a cube and see how dangerous it is. And then uh, it's probably a good idea to do things after. It's probably something that I'm missing. Oh, that would probably explain a little bit. So I just use that to like get through the rest of it. Like, I, I think I probably will just carry... Hmm. I think I have another idea too. Like, if I grab my leaf, can I blow this thing around? Oh, very, very, very slightly. Okay, well, I'm gonna see if uh, these things actually do cause troubles and like melt my ice cube. Melt my poor uh, ice cube that's constantly wrapping this entire time. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that was my chance! Because, like, this thing is probably, like, it's like the perfect height, isn't it? It's, it's just gonna melt it. At least it looks like it, but... Maybe I'll just, like, push... Yeah, I... Yeah, I might just do my strategy. Doop, doop, doop! <laughs> Because, like, there's no easy way of doing this, right? Not that I can think of. Unless, like, let's see, bombs, stasis, no? Okay. <laughs> Just, like, fanning the flames here, essentially. But... Oh, no. That was... I was a... Oh! Okay. <laughs> now I know that my leaf can catch on fire. That's not good. But I think it's oh I'm, okay. Almost uh, through. Just maybe a couple more uh, wax just for good luck. Oh no! Like my poor leaf. Oh, because this is the only thing that's gonna get me through this uh, dungeon of sorts, this shrine. But it just keeps catching on fire. Okay. Yeah, now it's good. And we just need to... Can I jump? Okay. I'm gonna be very careful with this. Oh, I think I have a, a better strategy of this too. Is that I just... I drop it on here. And then I lift this up. Oh no. Okay, well, 
It's too bad that uh, Link has really uh, shaky arms or something. Because, uh... Oh, <laughs> that was pretty impressive. The cube just, like, went crazy. Okay. Let's see if Shaky Arms McGee can actually do this once more. Either that or... Nah, I, I don't know if I trust it necessarily. I'm doing things my way. Okay, well... <laughs> the cube survived, clearly! It was... Oh man. I don't know if I necessarily want to do this one right now. It's a very clever, uh, thing here, but, like, I don't know. I think this might take uh, a bit of... Okay, you can actually throw it quite far. I think I might just throw it across the lava gap. Maybe even just, like, throw it to, in general to keep this thing going, but... I don't know, it, it weren't, uh, like... You'd think that if you're throwing an ice cube around, it would just, like, shatter, because... This thing, as, like, hefty as it is, it... It's, it's way too dangerous. It would never work. I know my ice cube... Oh, no. My ice cubes. Go sneeze. Ugh. I'm allergic to... Ice cubes. That, that's, that's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna do some testing here. It's uh, slightly bigger than one of those... Okay. Slightly bigger than one of these cubes. So, if I stand... at the very edge of this... How far can I throw it? Um... Uh, it looks like I can uh, get the gap. I think they probably designed this so you can just barely do it. At least that's my hope. Ugh! There we go. See, that makes things way easier. And then I can just jump across and... Ooh, boy. That was... I appreciate how it just, like, kind of glides into the lava like that. Very fancy. But, uh... Yeah. I don't know if... That kind of works. I don't know if I can cover all... All of the... Things I need to. Okay. I'm hoping this actually works. Because... Uh, well, there's just a, a little bit of uh, fire going through the side of the, that block. That's always good to know. It, it happens every once uh, in a while. I think that's the whole reason why they put a slope here. <laughs> Instead of stairs. Also, I wonder how this would actually work with the physics on stairs. Might be another, uh... minor problem... of sorts. But wait a second! I think there's a chest in there. Yeah, there is. It's, it's probably worth going for. Just to see what happens. It's probably gonna be like... Oh! Okay, actually, that's... Long throw, man. Frostblade! A magical sword if forged in the frigid mountains of the Heber region. When the blade grows blue, enemies, uh, turn to glue. Uh, uh, enemies uh, struck by it will uh, become frozen. You know, they're, they're glue because of the, you know, they're frozen into the ground. Their, their feet get all sticky. It makes sense. But yeah, I'm definitely taking one of these things. This frost blade. Oh, it see like it it does uh it's just a regular sword. Okay. Yeah, I uh, think it's probably best just to go the regular way up. Not taking any chances. I've I've had enough troubles with this uh crazy shrine that uh I don't need any more. Also, speaking of which, I don't necessarily need to do too many more shrines, or like any. I just kind of... Aww. Can I get across this any other way? Bryonis, save me! Okay, well... Oh, I just grazed my feet a little bit. Okay. What if I just like put on my flameproof armor? 
Like, it probably should work. Um, Gorons, don't fail me now. Doop, doop. Yeah, that does work. See, I should have just done this to begin with. Because just having an ability to be fireproof in the game, that, that's pretty sweet. It's just something that you don't have to carry, well, care about at that point. If flames exist, yeah, so what? I, I am the flame master. Okay. How does one get, get through this without melting your cube? Or what if I throw the cube through it? Hmm. I, I think I have a, a different idea. What about stasis? <laughs> or I could just use this to like stasis the cube, smash it, and then I go through. But... Where does he want it? Like if I get all the way up here, then, then what? This doesn't appear as though this is where I need to be anyway. I, I don't I don't know where the ice cube's supposed to go. I think I screwed it up. In some way or another. Just like, well at least screwed up what I'm supposed to... I, I don't know what I'm doing. I think maybe if I just bring it up here, the, like the offering of having a, a cube around there, they will be very, very pleased. But, uh, yeah. What if... I think that you can sort of, like, get a couple things without getting it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, the physics do freak out a little bit. But I don't know if that necessarily gives me enough space. Yeah, that, that really doesn't. Well, I'm gonna try uh, the strategy of uh, potentially just throwing it through there, and if that doesn't work, then uh, balls to it, right? Or what if... What if I do this? I Okay, I have, I have a brilliant strategy. It's very, very dangerous, but I think it has to be done. Okay. Let's hope this works. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm actually pretty uh, proud of myself getting through that puzzle. Like that's that's clever, actually. Just smashing an ice block and then uh, holding the top. Here we go. One perfectly frozen cube for your delightfulness and your ability to cool your coffee. Ice cold coffee. It's everyone's favorite delicacy. Anyway. Ah, oh, so worth it. <laughs> as as much as that was kind of a, a difficult uh, bit of puzzling, but well, more so just like me not knowing that I could actually throw a cube across that gap of lava. But yeah, still so amazing actually having this armor. I uh, I did well to actually grab this stuff and upgrade it. Oh. oh, I love the way the graphics look right here, though. Something, something looks more pastel and amazing than usual. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, I'm just gonna kind of get out of this area now. I'm gonna teleport back to where I was before, and I think I'm probably going to stop for playing for now because uh, next time I can uh, definitely do the Divine Beast. I. I did a whole lot of crazy detours here and there and having a lot of problems with my bananas. That's that's usually <laughs> the way things go though. It just so, sometimes you just got to get lanky to grab your bananas for you. Oh no, the the friend is uh, gone here. 
that was just always liking to watch and wait. But, uh... Wait, the desert's cold right now? Uh, it's very unusual. That's why I have to wear my, uh, very metallic gear to keep, uh, very warm. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely gonna be it for now. Next time I'm gonna do uh, Divine Beast and then uh, hopefully just like... Well, after I'm done the Divine Beast, I might I might even go to Ganon. It's hard to say, because like, it would be nice to still have my sword... My Master Sword! Actually powered up, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm still uh, considering a great many things. <laughs> At least at this point in time. But, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this, uh, bit of, uh, a trek through the desert. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time for more various Breath of the Wild fun times. Ahoy. Goodbye for now. I didn't even know that it would do this. It's the best sound. Somebody did Foley with a rubber band.